Okay, this is an interesting topic. Let's move to cybersecurity. Many people believe that you can learn cybersecurity without not much networking knowledge, without CCNA. What's your take? And before you answer, when we say cybersecurity, it's very broad. So yep. there is a part of networking, servers, application, uh, databases, even physical security, even management and policy securities. Yep. Um, these are all under the cybersecurity umbrella. But yep. I agree, and many people agree, that the networking has a big part of the entire cybersecurity landscape. Yeah. Again, what do you think about those people who say you don't need CCNA to move to cybersecurity? or to start your cybersecurity career? Um, that just seems strange to me because in cybersecurity, normally, it, actually, a lot of attacks come from the inside the company as well. Mm. Often they're not malicious, it's just people doing stupid stuff, which is causing problems. But if you think about cybersecurity, you're normally thinking about ta attacks from the outside. So if somebody's going to attack you from the outside, they need to connect to you over the network. So that's why the network needs to be secured. If they can't connect to you, then that's it, done already. You don't have to worry about application layer or anything like that if they, if they can't even connect to that box. I mean, of course, you're gonna you are going to you are going to secure it at all the other levels as well. You want to have defense in depth, but you know, that's really the, that's, that's the, the front door is the network access. So if you're gonna be a cybersecurity a professional, how, how can you do that if you don't know how to secure the network? And how can you know how to secure the network if you don't know how networking works? Well, how about those cybersecurity or part of cybersecurity are more into management. Because if you see the internet, like LinkedIn or other platforms, there, there's what we call cybersecurity leaders. Yeah. And uh, I, I would see it as a less technical role. For sure. Yeah, but do they really need to understand networking? That's the question. If you're, okay, if you're just the, the manager, the team lead mm -hmm. for that, Possibly not if you're relying on your team to have all the technical skills. But how can the technical people respect you if you're not familiar with some of the basics? Yeah, I mean, I, I would find it unusual to put a person like that into that job role. I would expect them to have very good technical skills as well. If, if, if it was my company and I was picking somebody for that job role, I would pick somebody with very good technical skills. So again, yes, they are going to be not just respected by the team, but also the team can go and ask them for advice. Mm -hmm. Can if, if they run into a technical thing, which they're not entirely sure of, then it's natural that it's their manager as a person that we're going to go and, and discuss that with. So if a manager doesn't have technical skills which are at least as good as their teams then how is that going to work so the manager yet yeah, definitely i would want somebody with the technical skills and then you want them to also have the man management skills as well on top of that so i would pick somebody with the technical skills and somebody that has proven to me that they're a good member of a team, that they've got leadership skills. And, and understand the technologies as well. Yes, That's very both important. technical and, and also management. the man management. Yeah. Mm. Also, a lot of people doesn't know that there are many security solutions that involves a lot of security understanding. For example, NAC, Network Access Control. Yeah. It's a security solution, but it is also integrated with router switches and it's how highly integrated highly yeah. integrated so how can you implement that solution a security solution without understanding of networking yeah is it possible no of course possible not. right no. yeah not only that there are many like ndr uh, network detection and uh, and response also integrated with uh, networking and even the simple firewalls and vpns all integrated to networking yeah I mean, I guess where you could have somebody in a cybersecurity team 
that does not have networking skills is if it, if it's a really large company or a really large team and you've got people that are hyper specialized in there so you might have somebody who's a linux security expert so you also in that team you would have your your networking security mm-hmm. experts and their focus would be obviously on the, the network components right. and then maybe you've got somebody that doesn't know networking but they are like a super expert on the Linux operating system and how or to harden it. Or application security. Yes. Yeah. So you could, but again, it would have to be like really a large team and where somebody is is hyper specialized at the application level mm-hmm. or at a particular operating system level. But all, I mean, that's that's very rare. That would be maybe like finance sector, banking, where we've got a really large security team where they could have that level of specialization any kind of medium-sized company and I'm the vast majority of large companies as well, the security team is not going to be that big and the people in the security team need to have knowledge of securing everything from top to bottom. Yeah, I do agree. Because cybersecurity is really broad. A lot of people doesn't understand how broad it is, Yeah, but every single technology, I would say almost, if not 100%, involves or closely related to security. Name any application, there is a security side. Yeah. Networking or even even physical security. It's yeah. it's under cybersecurity umbrella. And not too many people knows this. Every single component, whether it's a firewall, whether it's a servers, there is a security best practices. Even routers and switches, there are security best practices that needs to be implemented. So how can you do that implementation? if you don't understand configuring routers and switches. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe you could go and get a configuration example off the internet (laughs) and you could cut and paste it. But I would definitely not want somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, doing stuff. I want somebody to understand what this config, exactly what this configuration does. The real purpose of this configuration. The purpose of it, what the Mm. implications are as well, how it affects other things as well. And again, if it goes wrong, that's able to troubleshoot it. So if a person doesn't have the knowledge, there is likely to do more harm than good. You really want somebody that, that is trained, that is experienced, that knows what they're doing. 